Hi guys, welcome back to Yes, I'm Her Divine Manifester. Today I'm doing a 24 hour manifestation energy check. And with that being said, I'm just going to jump straight in. Today's energy check, I feel for the majority of the people, for the majority of us, I feel like we are we are in a place of self-sacrifice. We are in a place of self-sacrifice. We allowing ourselves to be used as a vessel, putting our own wants and needs to the side to help others, to show others how things should be done, um, to see things in a different perspective when it comes to um, sharing our talent, sharing our gifts, sharing our knowledge. So yes, a lot of us are experiencing or going into a a stage of self-sacrifice. And I feel like that is needed throughout humanity. I feel like that is needed because a lot of times, you know, people could be stuck in their own world, stuck in their own ways, and it could come off as selfish. Okay? And we have to learn how to be selfless. We have to learn how to just know that we are already covered, know that we are already taken care of, and we extend that olive branch. We 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 shed we share that blessing of knowledge, of wisdom, of understanding, of discernment, of confidence, of courage, of strength. So a lot of us are looking at looking at things totally different. Okay, we're looking at things totally, totally different, and that's a sign of that's a sign of spiritual growth. So in this, in this, in the next twenty four hours, you will be, you will be stretching yourself. You will be stretching yourself to another level to help other people gain creativity in their own life, gain visions, and helping them to be able to see their own reality in their own life, helping them to be inspired. By the actions that they take when they when they are in a position to make things happen, inspiring them to communicate their feelings, their thoughts without feeling like they are not good enough, showing them how to be courageous in a place of fear. So a lot of us are doing that. A lot of us are sharing ways and sharing ideas on how you follow your dreams, how you stay consistent, how you how you look for how you make yourself available for true love, how you make yourself available for divine knowledge, divine wisdom, divine understanding, divine connections. Okay? How you uh, how you allow yourself to receive so with this being said that's going to open more doors of abundance of financial success financial gains long term desires long term security being able to being able to uplift another person is the ultimate goal being able to uplift as many people as you possibly can is the ultimate goal. That's wisdom. That's that's growth. That's that's just a sign of of a person walking in their highest power. Being able to leave behind old energies and walk into new energies and help another person do the same is the ultimate goal. Because you are setting, you are, you are, you are creating a way of life of luxury, self sufficiency, the ultimate abundance, ultimate happiness, self love. Courage, confidence, and you are inspiring a lot of people. 
whether you believe it or not, you are you are inspiring a lot of people. If you clicked on this video, it's for you. You are inspiring a lot of people. And a lot of people want to know your secret. They want to know what it is that you're doing. How are you doing this? How are you doing this so effortlessly? And you will be able to share that with them because it's not even hard. You do it so effortlessly because you allow yourself to be guided by the most high. And it's sometimes it's hard for people to kind of like wrap their mind around that because they look at it like, okay, it's too religious. Or they they look at it way too strongly. They, they criticize it way too harshly. When you speak about the most high or you're speaking about God, some people really don't. They really don't want to resonate in that area. But it, it's not even as they seem. It's a powerful, the most beautiful thing you can ever do. The most beautiful and powerful thing you can ever have in your life. Being able to say, I am led, I am guided, I am directed by the most high. It's powerful. Because without that, you are a blind leading the blind. You just blind out here. So you're so right now in this in the next 24 hour you will be the next 24 hours you will be helping many people. You will be helping many people find their true identity. Find the 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 mo, the inner essence of their selves. And a lot of times it don't even have to be by what you're saying. It could just be by how you're moving, how you're responding, how you're reacting. How you are being so covered. How things, life is just going so smoothly for you. And it looks like it's going smoothly for you. But little do they know, you go through things too. It's just the way you handle it. You handle your issues. You handle your problems differently. You don't allow it to wear you down, stress you out, overwhelm you. You understand that. Things is not happening to you. It's happening for you. So you allow and release. You surrender. You surrender because you know you have no control over anything. You are led and guided by the most high. So you listen and you trust your intuition. You allow your intuition to guide you. If your intuition tell you no, then it's no. If your intuition tell you yes, then it's yes. If you feeling like not so good about something, you know you have to pull back. If you feel really good about it, you know you can keep going. You understand that boundaries have to be set. You know, you understand that you have to continue to maintain and set boundaries. It is not a one time thing. You understand that. You understand that your faith is being tested every moment of the day. So with that being said, be prepared. Be prepared where you already prepared because it's just naturally in you. But just know that within the next 24 hours, you will be helping many people. Find their true self. You will be helping many people break the chains of poverty, of mental prisons, especially mental prison. You will be breaking the chain of people's mental mindset left and right, left and right. Because they didn't understand how easy it, it was to break free from that. But you're about to help them. You are about to help them. So if this resonated, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.